film it, but last night I redid the office. As you can see, it is a mess because I'm packing for Asia. I filled out all the paperwork, but I'm also, I have a lot of huge projects today that I need to do. I got rid of that desk that was there, my beautiful Ginkgo leaf desk in gold. It's actually, I'm gonna give a full update on that in a bit, but first I got ready because I wanna film a bit and I wanna also just feel good at home because I did not put on a full glam face. I just put on my simple, regular, look for when I'm at home. Last night, we had this wonderful cut of, I think, ribeye, and I am warming something up right now because I just don't feel my, my best, my 100% best, because we had this really, really over-seasoned dish, and my face is really puffy like this, but it's okay because I have a lot of things I need to do. I'm gonna focus on that, and then I'm gonna exercise, and then I'm gonna do all the things that make me feel good. I'm gonna walk in some nature today. You can schedule your coffee at the night before the night before a scoop of coffee in here it comes with a scoop literally attached to the side garden i desperately need to clean and we did a lot of cleaning yesterday uh, then you fill this up with water put this and then press whatever you want here it's really cool and i am not the kind of person who has a giant coffee i got this from costco but i started realizing you know i'm the first person who needs it i need multiple cups of coffee sometimes four coffee coffees a day so that's been really helpful ever since we moved here because obviously back in the Hollywood Hills home, we have the Bialetti and we have multiples of them or the Alessi one, the stovetop espresso maker. And I love making my macchiato, but as of recently, I have not been making them. So I've been using the Ninja coffee maker. I say in vlogs, I say hus my husband, where I don't like saying my husband all the time because I feel like you guys kind of know him, you've seen him here every now and again, he pops in, and I know you guys like seeing him, more of him. I like to refer to him as Mr. Dixon because I hate saying my husband. I feel like it's a little bit rude when you guys have, when you guys know who he is. You guys have seen him, you guys have sort of met him. <laughs> go through all this, recycle all this, reuse all this, and then I also have more, I have a whole like hundred something pages book back there that I have to read and then I have to put this away and create outfits and a ton of other ideas. Messes always start small and then they get bigger and bigger and bigger. So this was, if underneath the jacket it looks like it's crazy, but it's literally just folded clothes and then <clears throat> This jacket is on top because I thought I was going to use it, but it's all folded. It's all neat and it's not an actual messy mess. It's just that it always starts small and then it looks crazier and crazier as the week goes on. And then I don't make time to actually put things away. So I need to really get organized and get in the habit of being more on top of keeping things neat. I moved the monitor here to face me and it used to block the window, which at first it was a good idea. But then it became hard to see the monitor. I realized that I love dressing up when I do have a cigar moment. So it's like my ritual. It's something that I value. It's like, I know this is not something you say. It's like waking up in the morning and having a routine where you make yourself beautiful. You get ready for the day. You put on your face. You obviously groom and brush your teeth. That was, a, you know, that's a big question. What are some first time home buyer programs? Welcome, Welcome to like film life. Like film because this is like what we do all day. <laughs> <laughs>
that I needed to do right before I left really quickly and I hope they're okay. Uh, they're just quick reviews on certain items like H&M trousers haul, uh, Revolve beauty haul. I'll have them linked below so that you can check them out in case you haven't already. And I need to redo my hair dye uh, because it's looking quite green because last time I dyed them was last week and I used glaze hair and it did miracles to my hair. I'm gonna do this while I keep on saving money and then after that, I'm gonna use this in the interims between visits to the salon because I'm gonna go back to visit the salon, go shop around, find a proper hair person who can help me because it's hard to find a good one. And here it's a bit more limited where it, where we live in this area. So oh, not everyone is on the internet either. And when they do have a place, they don't have a website and they don't have an Instagram to show their gallery of their portfolio. They're literally just exist. And it's kind of word by mouth. But aside from that, I'm gonna do this after I work out because I just showered. I still have a little bit more filming and just pack my travel bag Need to return this Revolve items check out that Revolve haul so that you do not waste your money <laughs> And that you find some incredible things that I found that I'm still using this shampoo by Briogeo Let me show you by the way. This is definitely worth sharing Okay, this is in my shower. This is the farewell frizz by Brio. Is it Briogeo or Briogeo? Uh, smoothing Sh uh, shampoo and conditioner i got the 1000 mils 33.8 fluid ounces one liter each because i want them to last me for several months <laughs> this is what's going on in my um shower right now body brush so these are top quality and they have replaced my keels every time i use these my hair feels it's oh, okay when I shower, they smell so good and I haven't been excited to shower like that in a long time where it doesn't smell like a bunch of chemicals that smell good. So try it out, get a sample, get the smaller version because I have tried Briogeo many times when I travel and that's what I use when I travel. I think they had a hair mask that I used and I was blown away and then every time I get a sample, I was blown away. 
I need to get something that's huge that I can trust that I know it works so I'm not wasting my money and I'm also not going back shopping all the time so I like to have the biggest one so I feel like I'm saving money well I am saving money and I'm saving time this is the glaze that I used last time. You can see it's a little bit stained and I really don't mind because this is something worth buying. My hair was so crazy glossy and very black. So this is Lustrous Ebony. This is the darkest blue black that you will find. I just don't want it to look green because the person who dyed my hair dyed it kind of like warm orange yellow and then mixing with the blue black, it ends up having like this weird tinge of green where my hair salon stylist in Los Angeles, she even said, uh, your hair is kind of green. <laughs> I have a ton of uh, ginger hair, so I'm very warm tone naturally on my head. But when it comes to my skin, I'm, I'm neutral tone. But I like to be cool tone with my hair because it makes my eyes look even more brown. The contrast is richer. I'm a deep winter, so uh, I'll have a whatchamacallit quiz for your color season below uh, linked. So it's not mine, but you can find out what colors look good on you, what colors suit you, and then you can learn and figure out how to break the rules, what to wear that makes you look like a million bucks. Packing these, I need to wash. I don't know if I'm gonna pack this. I don't. I think I'm just gonna leave it here. I'll steam these on my beautiful steamer, and I have to put these away. I have a ton of grunt work to do. This. As it always happens before I shower. It looks like a mess. This house is a mess and I need to clean it up. Thailand and I don't even know if I'm gonna go if I'm gonna go swimming or if I have to take a dip or if I'm gonna go to the sauna or the spa I know I'm gonna get a massage when I land because I will have well over 20 hours total of flying and this does not show my waist so <laughs> so I don't know why you have a size small I guess they're averaged out for everyone to fit I got this in the smallest size I don't remember what it was but there are different colors I think there's an olive a black a navy and I got this in the apricot peach color it comes with a belt it has a heads up i have a lot of side boob which is not my thing i wanted something that's more coverage and safe so that the whole point of a one piece is so that it doesn't i don't slip out which is something that i struggle with bikinis another blogger who is small she says she's a d cup but it, it, don't get this wrong a d cup looks different on every single person so i have socks on because it's freezing but i have the belt on and it still doesn't cinch you in it's still large and loose it goes out to there i look huge in the mirror for some reason it's probably because the angle it's not a very flattering um, swimsuit if you do have a small waist or if you have like an extremely hourglass shape as i do so i have really broad shoulders and um people say oh you don't have broad shoulders uh but the thing is i know how to dress to disguise that and give an optical illusion and i have an f cup chest um this is not something that i would wear if i'm say for example going surfing and there's a lot of action this is something that i would wear if i'm just dipping in for a little bit i wanted something that was more secure so don't get this if you are an extra small there's something to keep in mind i got this from a blogger who's an extra small she also has a, the same size waist but she doesn't have as large a chest or as large hips that's just something to consider and it looked okay on her or i don't know if she was just selling because she kind of hawks a lot of things on amazon just as a heads up i don't like this when people are just blogging for the money they're not blogging all oh, actual high standards and she has a lot of a lot of made in china low quality things I noticed. So don't shop from those people because you're not gonna get your money's worth and you're gonna be disappointed and it's gonna look awful and it's not gonna fit you well. Another problem with this belt is I cannot take it off. It is so hard to take on and or put on and take off, which is really frustrating because what's the point of this belt? There's nothing flattering about it. It doesn't work. That's low quality for you. 